Hello, hello friends. We are still in Brooksville. We are at Cecil's Thrift Store. No idea what is in here, never been here. Hopefully they take cards. We're gonna go in and find out. All right, so we are walking up and I have no clue what we are walking into. I see this, look at this really cute goose picture. It's like Mother Goose. I didn't get her. I think maybe I should have. Isn't she so cute with her little chicks in a bucket? It was very big and very heavy. So shipping would have been pretty expensive. I think that probably would have been a pretty good item if I have a booth. But I do not have a booth. So I would have to ship it. And I see some cross stitch there. What we're going to do is walk up front and first make sure that they take cards because I don't want to go looking for stuff with no cash and they only take cash and he said they do take cards so we will continue perusing and it looks like this section is like household goods uh shampoo and stuff there we'll see what we can see here And it's a little bit of a mess in here, to say the least. We'll see if we can find some things you never know. There could be treasures hidden in the air. I didn't even notice that, that headboard that was right in front of the shelves until just now. These two little ones, those were cute but I typically want bigger ones in order to get the value I want to resell unless it's a big lot. That pelican picture is pretty cool, but it's pretty giant. And this one looks like it was hand painted and unfortunately it does not look like it was hand painted very well. So quite a bit of collectibles here there's stuff down there in the totes like 50 mugs in that one and I'm not seeing anything here in the section that's really catching my eye very much I don't like that a lot of this is not priced that's the only thing because if there were multiple things I would either have to run up there multiple times or bring it all up there and then it might be too much but you know what can I say? And a lot of this is newer, more modern, or lower end stuff that I don't think I could make very much of a profit on, unfortunately. There's a lot of stuff here, but a lot of stuff does not mean that you can find good stuff. Her ears are very, very badly broken, but I don't think she would have been worth anything even if they weren't. Another headboard that I, I don't, I don't know how I just like totally zoned out and didn't even notice those headboards while I was there. Look at all of the pillows. Let's see if we can find a good pillow. I like this one. Look, it looks like an octopus with beads. I think we will get this pillow. I'm not sure how much it is, but the dust wiped off and I think we're going to take this with us. And we'll see if we see any more in here. I don't know if that leather one in the back would have been worth taking a look at. There are definitely some vintage pillows in here. Also some newer. I think those, those there are a bit newer. Eeny, meeny, miny. What? Little shelf sitter. Bells, typically 95% of them are not going to be very valuable. And I see some dollar prices here, so I'm hoping that the pillow isn't too expensive. And we'll keep moseying along. I have to say, I'm pretty disappointed I haven't found more but you definitely cannot always have winning thrift store trips that is 
just not the reality of thrifting, right? Sometimes we don't find much and that is okay because sometimes we find a whole lot. I love this print down here, but there's actually some pretty bad water damage to the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it there. It was all bowed up. I think this was hand done and it was like somebody's wedding picture, which is kind of sad. So I'm, I'm going to leave it. I am not sure what this thing is made of. It doesn't feel like it's real wood. It might be. But I don't think it is. I keep, I keep, <laughs> my camera keeps falling down. We're having technical difficulties. I do like this. It's got like the little baby cabinet. And it is a vintage cross stitch. Now these two kind of match. There's a little boy and a little girl. But these are so big that shipping would be a lot i guess i could take them out of the glass frames but i typically leave stuff how i find it so i did decide to leave those two behind i i set my pillow down i'm like do i still want it yeah i still want it all right let's see what's under here this is definitely 70s and look there's we have to like maneuver we can maneuver we're maneuvering and reaching. And we got it. Ha ha ha. Okay, there's a pair of them. So we are going to grab those as well. Those I think will go probably for 40 to 50. They shouldn't be too bad. They're definitely that mid-century modern vibe and 3D textured. Here's a little... Looks almost like a Fitz and Floyd little cookie jar but I don't I don't think that one's worth enough to deal with shipping it all right we are heading to the front with not much so I do not always get a ton of stuff now this is all newer so I'm not sure where they're getting it if you can find scents that are no longer made of different soaps Sometimes those can be valuable. They have quite a few appliances in here. And I think we're going to go set our stuff down on the counter so that we have free hands. And see if we see anything here at the front. Right now we just have three pillows and a cross stitch. I love that, that poppy painting. I think that's probably just like a print and this one here is really really pretty but I'm not sure the value on that one I did decide to put that one back let's see if we see anything here there's some purses we are going to walk out front here because they do have some stuff sitting out here and see what we see. Look at how cute. If that was smaller, that little girl with the birdcage, but it also looks like it has some mold from sitting outside, which is unfortunate. They have a bunch of furniture here, so I'm not sure if their main thing's furniture. It is very possible that it is in the appliances. They've got some more little collectibles here. Most beer steins are kind of like bells. Most of them are not very valuable. And this was made of like resin. That was a newer piece. So I did leave that one. All right. We went back inside and real quick, I found the Sanio and this one has a tape in it. So maybe we can even test it. And these sell for about 35 to 40. So I am going to hope that this one works. And we'll see if we see any jewelry down here. I don't really see anything that's catching my eye. And he did say 25 
for everything. So about $5 a piece into these, which is a little higher than I probably wanted to be. But maybe he did 10 on that radio, which would have been understandable. And then like $4 each on the pillows. I don't know. But we are going to go ahead and get out of here. And I'll see you in just a second. All right, so we didn't get a ton there. They can't all be winners. And I didn't ask prices, and I should have. I assumed they would be lower. They were not. So they charged me $25. i am not sure what was what. I got the set of two. These are very, very mid-century modern pillows. This little china cabinet handmade cross stitch. The tape player, which we will test it. It looks like it sells for 30 to 40. And then I absolutely love this pillow that looks like an octopus. And that is all we got there. Um, I was hoping to find some more stuff, but not too great of luck at this one. If you are interested in any of these, you can shoot me an email, thenurseflipper at yahoo.com.